Hey, welcome back to Make It With Mod Podge. Spring is in the air and I've got a really fun craft idea for you. I'm using some of those jumbo plastic eggs that are all over the craft stores and your dollar stores. I'm doing some napkin decoupage on the back of them. I've got two different napkins. I've got a floral print that I'm using on this great center one. And then I've got this really cute bunny rabbit. And the bunny rabbit napkins I love because they're directional on each side. So for my two pieces, I've got one bunny looking one way and one bunny looking the other way. So when you're out there napkin hunting, I'm always looking at the different details in the napkins that I'm gonna be working with. I've got two more products I'm using. I'm base coating with Folk Art Home Decor Chalk to get that beautiful white background so the colors of my napkins pop, and I'm using Mod Podge in matte. Of course, you could use gloss or satin too. All right, let's dive right on into this adorable project. So we're starting with these large plastic eggs from the dollar store, and we're going to use the clear portion that's got the smoothest back. And first I'm going to paint it with Folk Art Home Decor Chalk. I'm using a light color because I really want the color of the napkins to pop through. For this, I used about two and a half coats. All right, let's do that beautiful napkin decoupage. I love these Pioneer Women napkins. Here's a little tip, grab some tape. I'm gonna put the tape on the white part of the napkin and then just pull back. You are going to need to separate the plies. If you don't separate the plies, your napkins are gonna be very lumpy and wrinkly. You can cut Cut out the design, or you can do my favorite technique, which gives you the feathered edge. I'm just painting with some water right around the graphic, and then you can peel away the graphic. That feathered edge is so nice because it really blends away, and you don't get that hard line seam. You're gonna go ahead and prep your napkin by just tearing out or cutting out all of the pieces that you want to use. Then I'm using Mod Podge and Matt to attach them to the inside portion of the egg. This is the part where we painted it white. Just a nice thin coat, you do not need very much. Then go ahead and place your napkin pieces down and then we're just gonna top coat with more. I'm filling in the entire egg design. I'm not going over the edge of the egg. I'm going to cut away the pieces that hang over. I like to sort of decoupage some of them off the edge so that it gives the illusion that the design goes off of the egg. And then you just trim away the edge and rub it with your finger to seal it down. Continue doing this method until the whole egg is covered. You can top coat with more Mod Podge if you want, but generally by this point, it's pretty good and sealed. Now I wanna show you that rabbit. This is a much larger design. So I'm just using the one rabbit here, and then I'm gonna fill in the base with the leftovers of the flowers. Look at how cute this rabbit is. And again, like I said, this napkin was directional. So I'm doing one rabbit to the left and one rabbit to the right. I love how these turned out. All right, now it's time to decorate. I wanted to give them a vintage look, so I'm using some of this pom-pom trim around the outer edge, and I'm just hot gluing that in place. I'm adding a little bit of grass to the center of the egg. This is just some grass that I had on hand. You could use green grass, Easter filler, whatever you wanted. And then I found this cute little fuzzy rabbit. So I'll just glue him in there. You can add flowers, these little fun carrots from the dollar store. You can decorate them so many different ways. Look at how cute these turned out. All right, we're gonna give these some lift. I've got these dollar store candle holders. You could use any little thing that you could glue it to. Just make sure you use the glue that is for the materials that you're using. Group them together, use them on a buffet, display how you want. I love this quick and easy napkin decoupage project, and I hope you do too. Make sure you like and share this project if you love it. All right, who's heading out to grab some of those giant Easter eggs? These turned out so cute. I think they'd look great on a mantle or a holiday buffet or a table centerpiece. I can't wait to see what you're making. So go ahead and use those hashtags Plaid Crafts and Mod Podge so everybody at Plaid can see your designs. Have a great crafty week and happy spring.